PLB Professional Languages Brazil podcasts. PLB Languages on Demand. Join us and give your English an upgrade. Visit our website www.plbnet.com.br or call us on 5586-4141-2527. listening to a podcast from the Today program on BBC Radio 4. Legend has it that Russian Empress Catherine the Great was once so uncomfortable in her carriage as it bumped along through marshland that she cried out, "Oh, what awful bogs!" To calm his empress, her consort Prince Potemkin is said to have told a little white lie. Your Majesty, he replied, these are no bogs, they are silver ponds. And so, a hundred miles from Moscow, the town of Serebrny Prudy, Silver Ponds, was born. And that's where I'm heading. With his talent for spin, I think Potomkin would have felt quite at home in modern Russia, where the Kremlin often presents a rose-tinted view of life. But what's the reality? After 18 years of Vladimir Putin in power and nearly four years of Western sanctions, is Russia a bog or a silver pond? In silver ponds, 82-year-old Valentina Nikolaevna is shoveling snow outside her house. (laughs) Though we've only just met, I feel I've known Valentina all my life. She calls me Stjopushka, Russian for Stevie. She offers me coffee and bears her soul. Vodka and drugs are corrupting our youngsters, she tells me. And the West? Well, it's been out to get us since Napoleon. Thank goodness for Putin. We need him to stick around. On a frozen pond, unemployed lorry driver Yuri is using a hand drill to cut a hole in the ice so that he can fish for carp. I barely make ends meet, Yuri tells me. Work is hard to come by, and elections won't change that. A president isn't a god. But some in silver ponds are counting on the Kremlin's help. Anton and Yulia worry that a giant pig farm planned for the edge of town, will pollute the whole area. They've written to President Putin, asking him to block the project. Local pensioner Valya joins our conversation. And is she angry? We don't want pigs here, Valya says. We'll block the road if we have to. We've lost patience. There's a saying, you know, one spark can cause an inferno. Cows in silver ponds are less controversial than pigs. It's milking time, and then it's off to the dairy plant. At the milk factory, they tell me that Western sanctions against Russia haven't affected business ties with Europe. All their milk bottle tops, for example, come from Britain. But down at the Silver Ponds Culture Club, when I tell this local band that I've come from Britain, from the BBC, that strikes a bum note. BBC, Anglia, that is... So, you're a foreign agent, one musician sneers. He goes on to criticise NATO for enlarging to the east. Russia doesn't expand into other people's territory, he claims, except Crimea, but that was ours anyway. 
The conversation is cut short by the culture club manager who's just walked in. I'm summoned to her office. The manager orders me to exclude the musicians' political comments from my report. In more than 20 years at the BBC, I tell her, no one has tried to censor me like this. It's time to leave. In one little town, I've experienced the contradictions of Russia. Hospitality and suspicion. Hardship, yet support for the Kremlin. And in many ways, Russia today is like Catherine the Great's ride through the bogs of silver ponds. A rough ride for sure, but somehow the carriage keeps moving. Hello, I'm Kirsty Young, presenter of Desert Island Discs. Each week, I ask some of the world's most outstanding and impressive people to reflect on their life as they contemplate being cast away to a desert island. All they're allowed to choose is eight discs, a book and a luxury item. You can subscribe to Desert Island Discs from wherever you get your podcasts and download them at your leisure. And in addition, you can also listen to many of the 3,000 extraordinary people who've been cast away to our island over the years. That's the Desert Island Discs podcast. I do hope you'll join us. PLB Professional Languages Brazil Podcasts. PLB Languages On Demand. Join us and give your English an upgrade. Visit our website, www.plbnet.com.br or call us on 5586 4141 2527.